I, yeah, that's me. About to pull a sword out of the ground in a football stadium full of 25,000 fans. A pregame tradition done by my hometown football club, FC Cincinnati. A club that I've supported since they were founded in 2015, and a club that I actually used to work for as a cameraman before I took YouTube full time. So before their match where they will be lifting the supporters shield for having the best record in MLS, they invited me to do this pregame tradition. Right, let's get this video started. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my hometown of Cincinnati, Ohio. Population 308,000. And yes, currently I'm not even standing in Cincinnati, let alone Ohio. I'm right across the border in Kentucky because like you, you get these views of the city from over here. Later today, we're gonna be touring FC Cincinnati's facilities and meeting some players and some of their staff members. But before I can introduce you to people who actually play for the club and work for the club, I need to tell you about the history of this amazing football club. Right, we have teleported. Behind me is what is known as Nippert Stadium, which is normally home to the University of Cincinnati football team, American football, that is, as you should be able to tell. But once upon a time in two... Did they really just decide to turn the music on right now as I'm recording? If you know anything about Cincinnati, I went to Xavier University. University of Cincinnati and Xavier absolutely hate each other and yeah. I don't, I don't like this field very much, but as I was saying in 2015, this is where FC Cincinnati played their games when they were first founded. It was here that FCC began play in the second tier of US football, what is known as the USL. Yes, a lot of good memories in this building, including selling out to a crowd of 35,000 in a friendly match against Crystal Palace. For a second division club in the USA, 35,000 people watching was like unheard of at the time. We also beat Bastion Schweinsteiger in this building, which I still, I still can't believe that happened. The scene at set, Nippert Stadium. Schweinsteiger for Chicago, right down the middle. Nino against Hildebrand. And Hildebrand has done it again! And the underdogs have prevailed once again! Okay, right, that is, that is Nippert Stadium, but we eventually moved on when we got into MLS and well, we have a stadium of our own and we're about to teleport there right now. And now FC Cincinnati play right here at their brand new home, TQL Stadium. Yes, this is a brand new state of the art football stadium that seats around, what is it? I think it's like 25,000. Hey yes, not only is this stadium behind me, state of the art and brand new, but so are our training facilities. We're about to head to visit those facilities, like, like right now. Right, we have made it to the Mercy Health Training Center. I've been told one of the best training centers in all of MLS. Now I'm lucky enough to be invited out here by the club where we're gonna get a full tour by the VP of Soccer Operations. And we are gonna get to play FC 24 with two FC Cincinnati players. All right, let's, um, let's head inside and let's go. <laughs> So my name is Dan McNally, I'm the Vice President of Soccer Operations and I kind of run and oversee the Mercy Health Training Centre where we are right now. I've been with the club for like eight and a half years now, right from the first day basically. So I've seen us grow when we was just four or five of us working for the club, kind of dream about all these different things that we have up till the present day where last weekend we won the 2023 Supporters Shield for MLS and it's uh, been an unbelievable journey. So Dan then showed us around the entire facilities where we saw everything from the weight room to the locker room itself. It was stunning to say the least. Pretty impressive. I've been to I've been to Dortmund uh, facilities in Germany and I, like this is up there. Definitely, definitely exceeding expectations. We then met up with a few FC Cincinnati players once they were done with training to play a match of FC 24. <laughs> Oh. 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 Okay, yeah, shout out to my boys Malik Pinto and Kimi Ordonez. They're actually crazy oh, good. Hey! Hey! Right. I got one. I got one. No! Oh. Is that it? Oh, sorry, buddy. Just reserved the lead. Sorry, buddy. 
right, we're on to day two, one day before the FC Cincinnati match. I am about to take you guys back to downtown Cincinnati. Got a special day for you guys. We are going to be meeting up with the play-by-play -play announcer for FC Cincinnati. But before we do that, Perhaps the most important thing we'll do this entire video. We're gonna get some Skyline Chili. Don't know what Skyline Chili is? Be prepared to be introduced to the greatest food of all time. Okay, right, let's go. That right there, that's, that's Paycor Stadium. That is where Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals play. All right, before we eat, I'm meeting up with my friend Jared, who is from Sydney, Australia, but lives in Cincinnati, Ohio now. Skyline Chili. Thank you, sir. All right, we are with a local Cincinnatian, former Australian. How we former doing? Australian, I've lost my citizenship. Have yeah, I? dude, you're a Cincinnatian now. Oh yeah, I'm proud to be a Cincinnati, a Cincinnatian. Let's I'm proud go. For it. All right, the one question we have to ask: You are a Cincinnatian now. What is what is Cincinnati like as like an outsider? Coming to Cincinnati, like I didn't know what to expect. But like, this place is cool, man. Like it's got a like rich sports culture. Like the arts are awesome here. Like there's a bit of everything to do. It's underrated. I feel like I think Cincinnati's super underrated. Like yeah. I was okay, a little nervous when I moved over here, but now yeah. being here for a year and a half. I'm like, I don't really want to live anywhere else. We'll get the verdict on this in a minute. We are, of course, at Skyline Chili right now. The delicacy. What'd you get? I got three cheese conies with the lot. Can't go wrong with that. Full Skyline review is coming next. Sorry, I hope you don't mind me <laughs> filming you. Thank you. Woo. All right, hold up. What do we got? What do we got? Three cheese conies. The lot, baby. This, oh, is, yeah. this is a Cincinnati delicacy. So I've gone with conies, too. I've gone with two. Two conies, just the uh, chili and cheese and then I, I love their french fries we got the cheese fries as well i want you jared can you just describe what a, what a cheese coney is so i would say like for the average person out there a cheese coney it's basically a hot dog with shredded cheese and chili on top of it like it's that simple but it sounds super basic but once you taste it it is it's yeah. incredible close up take a bite i don't even need to taste it to know it's gonna be a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Baby. All right. Skyline Chili, if you're ever in town, you got to try it. Oh, yeah. Never disappoints. Ever. See you tomorrow, brother. See you tomorrow. Let's go. Let's go. We're raising the, uh, we're raising the sword tomorrow. Huzzah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Go, FCC. All right. Huzzah. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> All right. Good to see you, brother. All right. Next stop. We've made it to TQ Hill Stadium. Let's go. We're being back going in the security entrance here because this is how I would come into work every day when I used to work for this team. Right, TQ Wall Stadium, all to ourselves. Well, besides, besides these guys down here, working working hard on the field, love it, boys. What a day, man. Get to eat some Skyline Chili. Now we are headed to meet the play-by-play -play commentator of FC Cincinnati, one of my good friends. I'm giving you full behind-the-scenes access in, the, in this video. All right, I'm gonna admire the view for one more minute. This place is gonna be absolutely packed tomorrow. All right, let's go um, let's go say what's up to my boy Tommy G. Let's run it. Here we go. Let's just get into it. We're at TQL Stadium with the voice of FC Cincinnati. What's Tom. up, Jake? Going over to Akoli. Look into scissor kick it, <laughs> and there it is. The first ever goal at Nippert Stadium. Steps to the ball and scores it. Kenny Walker, FC Cincinnati, for the first time ever, has a playoff win. Jimmy again, and Jimmy has done it. His third Open Cup goal. First touch is solid. Over to Alase. Fatai Alase. His first strike of the season. 2-0. Orange and Could you introduce yourself to the people watching at home? Because yep. everyone in Cincinnati knows who you are, but we got a lot of people watching around the well, world. Well, yeah, so. yeah. A lot of the uh, B4 Lancer faithfuls, uh, <laughs> my, my son and, and, and all of his buddies, probably probably <laughs> tuning in right now. So I am uh, Tom Glitter and a longtime play-by-play uh, -play voice of FC Cincinnati. Eight years going strong. So every match we've ever broadcast, uh, I've done. You've been here since day one. So yeah. what has that journey been like? It's awesome, right? Uh, to be here, I mean, literally at Jeff Burning's kitchen table, planning the club in 2015. And, and that's what uh, he said to me when I saw him in the locker room after the game on Saturday night when, when the Shield was clinching Toronto. He just laughed and looked at me and said, from the kitchen table, here we are. With the supporter Shield, that's kind of why we're here. Yeah. We're going to be lifting it on the match on Wednesday. You were in the plane on the way back to was, Cincy. Man, can, you, awesome. can you give me some stories there? Oh, man, I don't know. Uh, there's a group of guys in the back who will play music, and they got yeah. a wireless speaker, and, and people probably saw some of the videos of them walking around. I had yeah. one. You know, on my Instagram and them walking onto the plane. 
And then you get home and there's a couple hundred supporters there at two in the morning. Border Shield down, MLS Cup yeah. still to go. And um, if they play for MLS Cup, where's it gonna yeah. be? Right here? Right here in Stadium. this building. Oh yeah. Last question, yeah. pulling the sword tomorrow, uh -huh. any advice? Are you a little? I'm I'm not nervous now, but like when this, this whole stadium yeah, and this the is, is in front of me, I'm probably gonna be feeling Because it's it like right there. Yes, yeah, right down At the there. penalty spot or so. Yeah. You know, I haven't I haven't done it yet, so I can't I, ha I can't give you the no, tips, no. but sword security is probably yeah, important. Don't drop like it. some of the guys have like kinda You're definitely like, don't drop it, the ground screw will be all over you <laughs> if you do that. I'd imagine it's a huge rush. Yeah. When you got all these supporters <laughs> yeah. right here yeah. going bonkers for you, yeah. and then just wind them up because the atmosphere for that match is going to be so great coming yeah. home as Supporter Shield winners. Appreciate Brother. it. Good to see Thank you. Thank you so much. Always. Yeah. There we go. Peace. That went well. Peace. <laughs> Love it. All right, it is match day. We are here at Casa de HD. Welcome, welcome. We are ready. We are ready. Ready to see that shield get lifted and the sword get lifted. What did you say yesterday? Huzzah. For, before we head to the match, we have a player here in Jared's apartment. His cat is named after Lucho Acosta. Lucho! Lucho! Say what's up to the vlog, buddy. He doesn't like the camera. He's camera shy. Oh what's no. Up, Lucho? Has he been in a video yet? Uh, like five seconds of one of mine the other day. Mm. Because I played Lucho Acosta in, <laughs> in FIFA. All right, let's, uh, let's head to the stadium. Let's go, boys. There we go. The one and only. TQL Stadium. We're back. Let's go, baby. Sword time. Hello, America. Look at this. Oh, it's heavy. That's a real sword. It's a real sword. Oh my gosh. This is this is legit right here. All right. So we got our first look at the sword and then headed out onto the pitch for rehearsals. This is the first time I've been on the field, which is crazy. This is just the first walkout. It's gonna be packed the next time you see this. Gotta get our warm-ups in. Practice the sword pole. So yes, if you couldn't already tell, the club made us get to the stadium a little bit early to kind of run through things and make sure I, I didn't completely mess everything up. Practice the sword pole pretty much. I might give like a dramatic look. <sighs> Is that what do you think? Yeah, I probably. I like the slow, the slow reveal. We got our practice, our, our practice sword pull in. Shout out to the man, made this happen. My former boss, Nick. Appreciate it, man. Boss, that's a little bit of a. Well, you were on the on the cameras back in Nipper. Right? Yeah, I guess so. Obviously, you and I go back a little bit of a ways, doing some productions around yeah. not only FC Cincinnati, but even uh, another sports team in town. I will say it's great having you here, and yeah. it's great seeing um, kind of your meteoric rise in the yeah. YouTube scape. Yeah. I'm excited for you. Yeah. So. I appreciate that. Right, outside the stadium, T minus two and a half hours before the sword pull. I'm feeling good. Jared, you, what do you think? Hop in here. Hop in. Pra did my practice. I liked it. Yeah. Gotta keep that same energy. We we gotta keep that energy, yeah. man. If uh, you leave me hanging out there, <laughs> no, I was I, I was like standing that behind yeah. you. Like you didn't turn around. I was like, oh no, if this happens during the game, I'm finished. No, no, no. Dude, I, my heart is gonna be racing, yeah. man. It's gonna be fun. All right, we're gonna turn over here because the real game day festivities begin across the street. The best pregame bar, the pitch. Let's eat. Let's drink. Let's talk to some fans. I'm hungry. Let's go. Drink something. <laughs> All right, boys, the nerves are real. We'll see you later, Gary. We're in. Almost showtime. E minus 30 minutes. Taking the elevator to the pitch level. It's about to happen, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Deep breaths. This is it. The moment's here. There's someone behind you. Turn behind you. <laughs> and before this insane moment happens, I want to thank you. I've gone to the Champions League final. I've gone to the World Cup, but this moment this is about to happen was by far the most special I've had on my journey so far. I'm nervous, man. I'm nervous. Time has come. From working at the club 
to being honored by the club on such a special day. This moment right here would not be possible without all of you watching.